Hello everybody, I am Brantman19. We're playing some more Supreme Ruler 2020, the Fourth Reich, and uh, things against Russia have pretty much just stopped, come to a halt, and that's exactly, that, that's really a good thing for me. It's not exactly perfect because I'd rather be pushing on them, but now we've just got a bunch of units that are coming down here, they're attacking the Ukraine, they're taking their Few, they have a few uh, land fabrication facilities just sitting around, which is good for, you know, once I get those, those will be mine. And overall, we'd rather have that, right? We'd rather them be mine than be the Russia's or Ukraine's. I think that's, we can all say it. So what I've done is I've moved a ton of units down here. And they're going to focus on taking this little area before taking Crimea and then going after Kharkov. Hopefully what will happen is I will start to hit this border at the exact same time as a lot of my garrisons hit and then Russia is going to have a hard time trying to push from me in several different ways so that's what I'm hoping uh, what I hope and what it happens we'll see I'm going to try to focus down here a little bit too there's so much going on so many little areas possibilities just everywhere need to make sure I've got all of my units that I can focused on attacking and helping me. Okay, um, what I might go ahead and do is clear that. Let's get all these guys who are unneeded. The artillery, I've done this a couple times now, artillery, the transports, the AA, stuff like that. I know it's kind of hurt me with Russia because Russia counterattacks pretty good and they get deep and they'll hit where the artillery should have been but um, if I do this I can grab everything I have useful which is only 83 units that I'm about to scrap and we'll do that and then I'll grab all these guys that are left and I'll send them along they can come down here take that you know go after that spot do you know take these little areas out that are problem spots have these guys shoot over here take Kearson take Kearson's uh, naval base and air defense that air defense is awesome by the way it can shoot so far okay have these guys come in and hit here I'm trying to take out Kivarad he's just kind of a little lone airstrip out here in the middle of nowhere but I don't want him there he's in the way of me pushing further this way uh, you can go ahead and repair man uh, we'll go ahead and send these guys down though take out the yeah, we'll go ahead and send these guys actually after the air defense okay there he goes and shouldn't take very long and I think we got it. Now the air defense is not online yet. It should be, but it's not. We did do some damage. Come on, there you go. Take the BMP-3 out and the place is yours. And... Almost... Oh. A little too, bit, little too many people hurt. But now we're going to come in with an easier unit. It's this stack um it's these ships. These ships are what doing all the damage to us. Which was to be expected, I know. Come on down here. See if you can knock out that there. There you go. Hit that. Wow. He's just they're very resilient units. Okay. Now then we've taken that out. Come on in here. We're trying to make them go bankrupt. That's a huge deal, making them go bankrupt. If they can't feed their citizens, if they can't get coal, or if they can't get iron, anything that they really need, if they can't get it on their own, they have to buy, right? They gotta buy it, they go bankrupt trying to do it. Let's see, industrial goods, yes, we'll sell them. Okay, come on over. There's power facilities right there that'll be useful. Send these guys off over here. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know. I don't like crossing over this piece, but hey. Take them out. Take them out. Take them out. Okay, lots of units right there. Why don't we go ahead and take out um, Militopol. Take that, and that'll give us a nice little shot for supply into Crimea. Okay, there we go. Looks good. We can stop him from crossing. That'd be even better. There you go. He actually died. That's good for us too. Now they're at they're at a very weird spot for them. They're at basically what for me would have been like a beginning of the game situation where they have very little land fabrication. He's down to four. So if he loses one, he lost one to two, three months worth of production. And at the same point, he can't make that up as quickly as you know I could in that situation. Because I have 92 fabrication. They're taking down that. We took the big spot over here. Let's send them on over here to that weird place with all those Z's that I can't pronounce. It'll be mine though. It'll be a place I can't pronounce with, you know, my own deal. I wish I could rename places without having to go into the code to do it. Alright, there they go. They're pushing down into Crimea. Now, Crimea is a weird place to fight in. Uh, just because it doesn't. It's not easy to fight in it, really. Come on, get down in here. See, they got so much garrison and all that, but they do have the land fabrications. Do that, I'll cut, if I take those, it'll cut them in half. And their abilities. Okay, we're destroying those Russian guys. We've crossed the river pretty well over here. These guys aren't doing anything. You can come down here. Go after the land fabrication. I don't want to engage Russia directly on that front. Because they will swamp me with troops from down here. And we're not ready for that. Okay, keep sending in units. There you go. Taking one little bit at a time. And the Ukraine's falling apart. They're down to 1.1 billion. South Africa wants coal. What is South Africa doing down here? Oh, they're in a pretty big war. Okay. Are they even friends with anybody? No. And they're at war with, like, everybody down there. They're not in the UN. Let's see. I'm surprised they haven't taken Swaziland. But other than that, they're doing what I thought they would. Are they at war with Botswana? They're not. They should be, because that's easy land for them to take. When I play South Africa, I love taking that on. Oh, that's uh, France. Okay. They're still down there. They're still hanging out. They have none of their mainland left, but hey. For them, they think it's worth it to still be in the war. Or still be in, you know, to not even fall. Okay, these guys are... They're doing good damage to them. Yeah, come on, take down these little spots. We need reinforcements. Okay, we're not going to take this spot, by the way. He's out by himself. I don't want to try to cross and take it. He's not worth it really either. So hey. Not a big deal. Okay, research wise, we are oh, we're still doing pretty well. Got a lot of units that we're working on. We We're working on the Camel A1, the mechanized units waiting on land warrior systems. Then future rapid effects and special forces are being worked on too. I don't really need the special forces yet. I will pretty soon when I start getting down here. Start making a decision if I'm who I'm going to take out next. When it's not Russia and Bulgaria and the Balkans and stuff. But my primary thing right now is to take on Russia and Ukraine. And Bulgaria. And everybody in the way of getting those goals for me. Now I guarantee you what's going to end up happening 
once we do take out Russia, and I've talked about before, they'll get you know China will get half because they're at war with them too, and we'll get we'll get the good half at least. But what's going to end up happening though is China is going to be like, hey, I got this long border with this you know Fourth Reich Germany guy Hans Gruber, and you know I don't like him because he doesn't like everybody else, so he'll attack me. So then I'll be at war with China as well. Good news is though is that well. China won't push on me very hard, for one. But I won't be able to have a much time at peace after Russia's done. Okay, they're going for that. These guys can repair. There you go. Come on down here and take this stuff out, too. Yep, take Sevastopol. Alright, we'll take that spot. That's actually where the, uh, well, what was the Soviet uh, Black Sea Fleet was. Then it was the Ukraine, and they leased it with Russia. And then now Russia took over Crimea, and that's where they put the Black Sea Fleet again. I gotta love Black Sea politics, right? East. European politics are crazy. Like trying to follow it on a daily, you know, trying to follow the daily news over there and see what's going on is really, really tough. Oh wow, they've actually come through over here. We touched them and then took over a lot of land and they decide they're going to invade. Got to be careful now. Quickly taking out the Crimea would be very beneficial to us. Okay, I think we hold them off pretty well on that river line, though. We're going to go ahead and take out these spots. Just because we're not going to give them any way to get their stuff that they need to work. Their supplies, that's what it is. We need reinforcements. Ugh, quit trying to fool with him. I mean, I know you just destroyed him, but don't do that very often, please. Taking that, come over here and take this. Unfortunately, we cannot build the road out. It's just going to be there. Okay, do they even ha yeah, they have a pretty good little force there. Never mind. Okay, if y'all want to destroy that, destroy it. You don't have to. Yeah, come out here though. Take down these guys. We are at war at Rus with Russia. That's why this happened. Okay, let's grab units that aren't doing anything. There's quite a few, it looks like. Wow, look at all the Pumas that aren't working. Okay, send them all down here to take on the Russians that have infiltrated. We need reinforcements. Uh, I'm trying to find the storm hunters that are not doing anything yet. There they are. Send them down here as well. Hopefully they're not going to come pathing through Russia or something to do it. We need reinforcements. See, Russia is only kind of focused on... Well, I think we might have lit this area up again. I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll find out. But I think we might have lit Russia up as far as they're going to start trying to push again. We need to try to get an upper hand up here now. Come on now. Slight, slice through or something. Destroy them. We do have plenty of supply down here. That's good. These guys, I want you to slice through over here if you can. We need reinforcements. We just need to stabilize the front. As you can see, we're making them have to run far. Yep, they're starting to try to push over here some. Bryansk. Stuff like that. Really light. It's not like it's they're doing a whole lot. They're not trying to take any military fabrication back yet. Very important they don't do that. Uh, looks like we might have stabilized some. It might be in our best 
It might be the best thing for us if we go ahead and take out Kharkov and get rid of the Ukraine completely. I mean, they'd still get a Donetsk, but yeah, that might be what we need to do. Just looking at it. It's not good that I'm trying to attack that direct like that, but... Come on, guys. Come up here. I know I sent everybody down that way, but... We need reinforcements. These guys down here should focus on fixing up for me. Alright, we'll take Poltava, we'll take Murgorod, then we'll take on Kharkov. Take out Kharkov, we'll... I know it makes more for the Russians to be able to hit us at, where we can't cover, but... It also gives us more places that we can hit the Russians. So, maybe that'll help us out somehow. Very weird tactics going through my head right now. Things that may work, things that might not work. Just hoping for the best. A lot of this is hope, that's true. I will not deny it. Hoping that something will work out for the best. Okay, they're gonna. If they just kind of come back, you know, they come at us, they combat it and push them back. I'm gonna be fine with that. Okay, come on down here. Do not path through Russia to get here. <laughs> Except for that piece of Russia. That's fine. I expect them to do that. Okay, they're taking that little supply line. What's right here? Come right here to that spot. No, 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 don't go too far. It's a cat and mouse game right now. We take out Maripol. We'll actually have a good supply line over here. Oh, here they come. They're, they figured it out. So I've kind of poked the sleeping bear again. That wasn't smart. How's my research coming? Lots of projects still out there, but we're about to have the barnacle! It's just some sub. I don't know if I've even really deployed them before. Naval warfare is not useful until it's time to start taking Mediterranean nations and fighting off against America and Brazil and stuff. Oh, and then also Australia and Japan and Taiwan and Philippines and stuff. That's when it's very important. Okay. They have surrounded the Ukrainian capital. So which means we're just going to focus on sitting back and hoping for the best. How are we looking on everything? Uh, agriculture, we're fine. Fine on. Well, we're not fine on fresh water. We actually are below what we need. Timber, we're fine. Petroleum, we're actually doing pretty well in. Coal, we're okay. Fine and metal, uranium, we're below. Ukraine, they want peace. They want they'll they want me to pay two hundred and three million dollars for peace. Uh no thank you. That's just not gonna happen. I'm not gonna pay you and then still not gonna be able to take you over. That's not gonna happen. You need to be asking Russia to give you back the land that they've taken from me. Uh consumer goods we're behind on now. Military goods were still ahead, so very precarious now. I poked Russia again and it didn't do me any good. The Ukraine's mostly gone though. I'm taking a lot of the Ukraine out. Need reinforcements. Okay guys. Build up again. We're at a hundred and what, how much is seventy three? Uh, about a hundred and fifty something units now to their thousands. Probably 800 really is what they've got. I can't click over them and tell for sure. We need reinforcements. But I feel like it's a lot. Huh. I'm trying to come up with a new plan. Because I don't think just taking out Kharkov is going to do it. 
They have two land fabrication there, I know. That's going to help over time. I've got to take out a huge group of, so of Russian troops at once. That's what I really need. These guys are just stuck in a weird supply corridor that's not getting much. Go ahead and take shots, get back. <laughs> that would be awesome. Okay, well... I don't see much right now, it's just... It's a slog. As we build up more troops and we hope that they get deployed to the right spots... Kharkov is... Well, Kharkov is possible. We've gotten back to it again, we've taken a look. It's just garrisons that are in the way. If I put, if I go after the garrisons and knock them out, the artillery will be gone really shortly. There's four garrisons there now. Let's try to take that out now. And if it does, if it works, then we'll end with that. If it doesn't work, well, we'll end there too. Uh, this puma needs to be repaired, but the other one can go fight. Keep on going. I'm going to keep feeding units as, as many units as I can get there. These guys are just holding them back. Whoa, hold on. I'm surprised that's still up there. They haven't gone for it. If they have, they've hit the garrison, so they can't. I have a feeling, though, that Russia may look like it's a lot of units, but they're all artillery, except for what was down here. They had rebuilt some. Okay, these guys, I've got more units able to throw into it. We've got them down to two. And they've just got so much artillery in the region, so that's what's doing most of the damage to me. And the Russians are pushing around them to help, so... Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, we're hitting the Russians again, we're hitting the Ukraines, we Ukrainians up here, the garrison's nearly gone. Okay. Nearly got them. Pushing back this little group first, that, that's, that's what's saving them right now, is that little group. And they're hurt so bad. Okay, cross him off. Maybe we can knock him completely out, which we did. Go ahead for the capital again. Hit that Black Eagle on the way. What are you doing? Quit messing with them. Keep going. Go ahead. We pushed the Russians all the way out of the Ukraine space again. Their garrisons built up. Alright, what do we have down here? Oh, uh, we do have a mortar coming online. So there are some artillery popping back up. And Garrison's gone. Here goes their artillery. And then we'll take this little spot here and we'll have knocked out uh, Kharkov and gotten the military facility. Wasn't too hard of a push. It was more the Russians counterattacking that stopped me. Or that was stopping me. Okay, come back up. We took their capital. Yep, took in the taking the capital. We they took their capital. Okay, the Ukraine's gone, so now it's just us versus Russia. And hopefully we have plenty we of garrisons. Which it looks like we do. So these garrison towns will still be thorns in their sides. And yeah, so now it's all up to my units to take on Russia. Well, that's I think that's a good spot to stop. Uh with just us versus Russia and Bulgaria kind of sitting on their own. We don't have the units to really do much against Russia right now, though. It's kind of the situation we've always been. We've lost a lot. Uh, when I'm building all 96 facilities or building too many different kinds of units. So, good news is that we've moved on to mortars. That's a good thing to have. And, uh, yeah. So, let's see here. I think we're still building Pumas as our primary unit, which I think we... Yeah, that's that's a definite. No think to that, I know. 
And yeah, I'll go ahead and add all these other guys to our research. So that we don't have to worry about that next time. Most of these guys will go by pretty quick once we once we start working on them. So many infantry! And I guarantee you not a single one of them is better than the Puma. Okay. And if you're wondering why I go for all research at once, we need reinforcements. for these guys, is I just want to get them all knocked out. And then we'll start worrying as we get tech levels. You know, I don't want to have any... I want to have the best units possible. And I want to be sure of that. So if I can't research anymore, then I know good and well that I've got them all. There's no way I'm not going to have the best units possible and available to me. Which right now I'm taking out artillery, then we have to hit AA, and then we'll pretty much be good to go. Alright. Italy, you're offering me industry goods. That's good. I'll take it. In exchange for cash. Or no, I'm giving them the industrial goods in exchange for cash. There you go. Not that I need the cash. Okay, AA is nearly done. And there it is. Alright. Oh, no. Now there it is. Okay. So... The only units I have left are nuclear warheads. So, just so we all know where I'm at, the only thing I have left is nukes to build. When it comes to units before in this in this inside of this tech level. So, what's going on? We're we're just stuck here. That's it. And UK is trying to do metal trades. Okay. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to end it right here, uh, letting my military build up again to attack Russia, and we're going to attack them along a huge front. Hopefully, I can get to the Caucasus, get that done, take Moscow, and all that. But all right, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.